Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Huck and happy St. Patrick's Day. Today I am doing the St. Patrick's Day book tag and I will link the original and where I got the questions down below if you would like to check them out. And without further ado, let's get into the questions. The first question is, end of the rainbow what book did you have a hard time tracking down a copy of so for this i have ship of magic by robin hobb and also the mad ship i don't have the third book in this trilogy yet because i am still looking for it these ones i had a hard time tracking down because i wanted specific covers i wanted these editions specifically although i actually wanted them both to be in mass market paperback and as you can see, this one is actually trade paperback because it's a little taller, um, but I don't mind that. I like, I just want the pictures to match. Anyways, I had a really hard time tracking down these covers uh, because I think that these covers may be out of print now. I'm not totally sure. I kept ordering books from used bookstores and they would tell me that it was this edition. I even searched by ISBN number and everything, and then they would send me a different cover, so then I ended up with a bunch of copies of the same books in the wrong editions. Anyways, these are ones that took me quite a while to track down and I'm still searching for the third one in this edition. The next question is, Pot of Gold, when you found that book, was it worth the quest? And you know what, I think that it was. I really like these covers. I like having books that I like to look at. I'm not the most particular about books having to have like the best covers ever but I did definitely want to get the nice covers for this. I'm planning to read all of Robin Hobb's books and so I will see them all you know lined up on a shelf and I wanted a specific look for those books. So I do think that it was worth it to track these down. I like the way that they look and I like the way that they look together even though they're different heights. Uh, so it was worth it. The next question is, celebrating a rich heritage, name a book that contained a well-developed culture. For this, I picked The Immortals Quartet by Tamara Pierce. Really, it's all of Tamara Pierce's books in this world of Tortal. And Tortal is actually just one country. There are multiple countries, and she has many series that take place all in this one magical world. And I think that she's done a very good job of developing the world and the cultures, and that there are multiple cultures. In some of her earlier books, there are some issues, possibly, with the way that she um, describes some of those other cultures cultures, but I think that as she has grown as a writer, um, she has developed and uh, has become, has less issues in her writing in that way. So I do think that these ones uh, have a pretty well developed world and culture. The next question is, Shamrock Shakes, what's your favorite food to snack on while reading? And actually, I don't eat or drink while I am reading. I do not have the attention to be able to do both. I can eat or I can read. I can't do both at the same time, so I don't snack at all while I read. The next question is, Leprechaun, do you own a rare or collector's copy of a book? So for this one, I don't have a rare copy of this, and maybe it counts as collector, but I have the recently released edition of The Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater. This is the one that has the opal short story in the back, and I did get the little collector's uh, tarot card that comes with the book. So this is sort of a collector's edition, I guess. And we have Four Leaf Clover. Name a book you thought would be just another generic book, but turned out to be something great. So for this, I am picking Vicious by V.E. Schwab. This is one that I went into with fairly low expectations. It is a book about people who figure out how to give themselves superpowers and while I do enjoy superhero movies I was not sure if I would like it in a book and also it's one that I've heard a lot of great things about and sometimes books don't live up to the hype so I kind of was suspicious going into it I wasn't expecting it to be especially great but once I read it I loved it and I thought it was so great and I'm really glad that I read it and now I want to read everything by V.E. Schwab. And the final question is, 
Irish whiskey, what's your favorite tradition of St. Patty's Day? So I don't actually have a lot of traditions around St. Patrick's Day. My favorite tradition that I am not able to celebrate anymore, but I used to was my dog's birthday. I used to have a dog named Indy who was a rescue, but we always said that his birthday was on St. Patrick's Day. So every year I would bake him a cake for his birthday. That was always really weird combinations of like, sometimes you have just like chunks of butter in the frosting and it would have, you know, bananas and cheese and peanut butter and apples and like all kinds of weird stuff all mixed together. Usually it was combinations of his favorite foods and I would dye things green, which looking back now, giving the dog green food coloring was probably not the best idea. But I was little and I wanted it to be St. Patrick's Day themed. So that my dog Indy has now passed away a couple of years ago, um, but that was my favorite St. Patrick's Day tradition. So that is all for my St. Patrick's Day book tag. Let me know in the comments what some of your St. Patrick's Day traditions are. I would love to hear about it. Thank you all for watching and until next time, bye!